Well, strengthening ties in various areas of cooperation has been key to sustaining the BRICS alliance. Since the group's inception 10 years ago, the governments of Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa have committed to improving trade and investment opportunities between themselves. Of the five countries, China and Africa have made the greatest strides. Standard Bank, one of South Africa's leading financial institutions, recently opened its first Africa-China banking center to help facilitate business deals between the two regions. Sumitra Naidu reports. More than $180 billion worth of trade is done between Africa and its biggest partner, China. But language, cultural and business barriers often slow down the process. Standard Bank is hoping the launch of its new Africa-China banking center will help smooth out these issues. Within Africa, most of the countries obviously speak English, some speak Portuguese, some speak French, so language is a big thing. I think the other thing is uh, regulatory challenges. So what we then decided to do is to invest into a virtual branch with Chinese uh, bankers, with Chinese capabilities to help bridge all these nuances uh, and provide a platform for, for, for Chinese to, uh, to, to enjoy doing business and living in an environment like South Africa and Africa, but also create a platform for Africa to deal with China going forward. Over 10,000 Chinese companies currently operate in countries across Africa. Each of the 54 states have their own laws and regulations, which is important to understand in order to do business. It's important for, for us to educate Chinese businesses in understand one, what Africa is, what the African country is about, what are the certain challenges from a regulatory perspective or from a market perspective, and why and, and how banks in South Africa or in Kenya is different to a bank in China. Likewise, for African entrepreneurs who are increasingly trying to source and input goods from China, understanding the business environment in the Asian country can be difficult. A lot of African entrepreneurs today are still carrying cash, flying all the way across to China, hoping, hoping to find a reputable supplier, hoping to find a way to buy better quality, cheaper goods to bring back to the market and sell. So, so what we are doing now is exactly to try and address those. Good day, you're through to the Africa-China Banking Centre. You're speaking to Ellen. How may I assist you? May I ask what business are you, are you running or do you own a company? Okay, you import tea, I believe so. Okay, thank you very much, Junior. Is that all that you're importing at the moment? The Standard Bank Group, which is 20% owned by the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, operates in 20 African countries and has made loans worth close to $4 billion available to Chinese companies for projects on the continent. The new China Africa Center aims to lower the barriers and create ease of business between the regions. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.